So here's the meal plan. I think I'm gonna go with Swedish meatballs, which is another recipe from this book. And wouldn't you know it, I have everything except enough beef. I have a pound defrosted. I'm going to actually do two pounds, even though it calls for one and a half, but I'm gonna do two, so I have extra. So I'm just gonna defrost another pound of meat and start making this bad boy. So I have some egg. I put egg in the bowl with onion, uh, parsley, garlic, salt, pepper, nutmeg. The recipe called for allspice, which I don't have, so whatevs. So I mixed the beef in with uh, all the spices and eggs and then made it into a meat balls. And now I'm going to put them in the Instant Pot and cook them. Oh my God, something just happened. Something almost happened. So Aaron just got home and grabbed a piece of beef jerky to eat. And for some reason he felt like um, he needed something on his beef jerky. So he goes ahead and grabs this bowl because for some reason it looks tempting, like he wants these bits and pieces on his beef jerky, scrapes the bowl with his beef jerky, as I turn around and see him about to put it in his mouth, and I'm like, ah, don't, duh! And I asked him, what do, you, what do you think this is? And he said, it looks like a bowl of uh, herbs and some garlic. Why, what is it? I said, yeah, that and raw beef. Like, who walks into a kitchen, scrapes a mysterious bowl to eat? <laughs> He's laughing in the background. <laughs> scrapes a mysterious bowl and eats it without knowing what it is. All the while, I'm over here holding raw meat, putting raw meat into the Instant Pot. But there's no like, oh, that might be raw meat. Nope, it's just something to go on beef jerky. Gross. In other news, here are the meatballs. It says to put some oil down at the bottom and then stack the meatballs in. And if you can't do it in one layer, do it in two. I'm just not really feeling confident about this right now. I feel like the meatballs are gonna start cooking and they're all gonna like melt together. There are eggs in it, but no breadcrumbs, which normally you put in meatballs to help them stay together. So uh, we'll see what happens. The last thing it calls for is about a cup of broth and then the lid goes on and it cooks for six minutes. Oh, I'm gonna run out of time. It's sliding up. Uh, yeah. So I'm also making mashed cauliflower to go with this. Um, this is just frozen riced cauliflower, two bags uh, in some water and I'm just gonna boil that and then drain it. The meatballs have finished cooking and have come down from pressure for eight minutes. The seal is popped, so I think I'm gonna open it up. Oh, here we go. Are they mush? I can't tell, might be mush. Okay, not mush, but they definitely cooked together. So I'm having to carefully, like, that one came apart nicely, carefully scrape them out. And it's got like that gross, like meat, whatever. I don't know what that's called, but it's gross. So I got all the meatballs out. They're still pretty meatball-y. Some of, they're just not very round. It's okay, it's all good. Um, and I put heavy cream, sour cream, and mustard. Don't tell Aaron. Aaron hates mustard, but that's what he gets for trying to eat raw meat chunks. Um, whisk that up and bring it to a boil so it gets kind of thick. And then I'll put the meatballs back in. Ooh, steamy. I'm actually gonna thicken it up a little bit just because I want to. Um, so that's arrowroot flour, and I'm just gonna take some of the hot liquid and put it in the arrowroot flour. Not with that spoon, though. So it kinda looks like gravy, but it's just because the sauce has some beef chunks in it. It's not the gross, like, beef um, juice, cooked beef juice is what I'm gonna call it. I got all that out. This is the beef chunks, but I'm gonna put this and here, gotta make a little tune. And then whisk it all in. Ooh, steamy. Now it's thick and I'm just gonna put the meatballs back in, let them cook in the sauce. 
and then I'll finish off the cauliflower while those get delicious. So I drained the cauliflower and I put butter, heavy cream, and sour cream in, and then salt, pepper, garlic. I'm gonna mix it up and then I'm gonna blend it in the immersion blender, my favorite tool. Immersion blender all the way. Look at those mashed potatoes, I mean cauliflower.